guys. So I've been waiting for something to come in stock so I can get my hands on it for quite a while. And they came in last week. So we got the Pyro Flip F4 version one. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's talk about one of the most attractive features of this flight controller, and that's the price. Sergey over at PyroFlipRC.com has had these manufactured for just under $22 a piece. That's right, your price comes in at just under $22 for an F4 flight controller. Now, this is because you're not going to find anything in here that you really aren't going to use. Meaning, yeah, you got motor pads for your motors, you've got spots to put your transmitters, this is going to take S-Bus, but you're not going to find a PDB integrated. You're not going to find camera control. You're not going to find some of these additional items that are on the more newer flight controllers that you may not even be using anyway. You've got your gyro, your F4 flight controller, and you've got some LEDs in your boot button over here, but you don't have much else that you'd be used to seeing. And that was to keep costs down. In fact, you'll also notice that the back of the board doesn't have anything mounted to it. No SMD components are on the back of the board. And I've come to find out this is for a couple reasons. The first is, who doesn't want frickin' Sergey on their flight controller? I'd easily spend 10 more dollars on this just to get a picture of Sergey on my flight controller. Okay? But what this does is it allows you to mount other things right up to the back of this, possibly, to get more stuff in your stack in a tighter stack in a tighter area. Now, as a newbie, one of the things I was terrified of, and I had happen a couple times, was soldering. You know, I wasn't good at it yet, I wasn't proficient at it, and I was worried that as I was trying to solder something, especially when you have solder pads anywhere that aren't right on the edge of the board, that I was going to, you know, tear something up. And so here you have your motor pads, along with some different 5-volt pads here that could be used for other accessories. But all the other pads that you're really going to use that this thing has are right there on the edge of the board, and they have a bit of space between them. Now, if that still made you nervous, you could solder to the back side of the board here. I'm not saying you should or you would or that it's a conventional thing to do. I'm just saying you could. Uh, for you guys running some slightly different types of receivers that, that only work with 3.3 volts, you have those right here. You have your board direction indicators here, so this is intended to be the front of the board which means that your USB, if you do that, will not be coming out will not be coming out the side of this board. It will be coming out the back. Um, may or may not be an issue. But guys, for less than $22, you could have an F4 flight controller with all the major features that you need. Now, if you're a racer, and that's my understanding, is that this was really geared towards racers, then this should be pretty attractive to you. Now, there are some things I would love to see in the version 2 of this board, which should be coming out in the coming weeks. The first is, I would like to see these mounting holes be larger to accommodate grommets. Okay? A lot of us are soft mounting our flight controllers now, and we would, and I think we would welcome the ability to, without having to modify the board, you know, ream these out or drill these holes any larger, to be able to get silicone grommets in here. Maybe a UART TX pad somewhere near where I would wire my VTX for smart audio. And personally, I would love to see a PDB included in this board. Have some smartly placed. I can't say where I prefer the placement to be. I really like where the F4S went with putting everything in on the sides of the board without having to go all the way around uh, where the posts would be or the standoffs. Anyway, smartly place some ESC pads there, and I would be absolutely enthralled. Signal ground and UART pads 
for BL Heli 32 ESCs. If we could put those items into a flight controller like this, where again, we don't have a ton of extra stuff. Uh, in fact, the next revision I would love to see along the lines of almost, you know, a CL Racing board or a Joshua Bardwell board, where they do have those features, but they don't have all the extra stuff. So yeah, guys, keep your eye out over at PiroFlipRC.com. And I think the next time you see some of these, if these meet your needs, you should go ahead and snatch a couple up. And if you would much prefer to wait for the version 2, I know Sergey's been throwing out teasers over there in the Facebook group, if not other places as well. Keep your eye out for that and snatch some up when you get them. Happy crashing, guys.